Before we start, I want you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Hockey Hub. Hockey is known for its hard hits and fast action. Players who usually get all the recognition are the biggest, baddest, and most aggressive players on the ice. These players are the ones who get overlooked and left out, but if it wasn't for these players, scores would be much higher and goalies would be asked to do much more. Let's check out the best defensive players in the NHL of all time. The name Chris Chelios is synonymous with durability. He did, after all, play until he was 47 years old. Chelios was one of the most intimidating and frustrating players to play against in NHL history, winning three Norris trophies and helping to lead three different teams to four Stanley Cup final appearances. His name is on the Stanley Cup three different times, once as a member of the Montreal Canadiens and twice as a member of the Detroit Red Wings. He had a tremendous long career, he played hard, overcame a lot of injuries, and was a very successful player into his late 40s. He's the most dominant defender of his era. He took an undermanned Ottawa Senators team to within one game of the Stanley Cup Final while basically playing on one foot. He was so good that year that he actually earned Conn Smythe trophy votes despite not even playing in the Stanley Cup Final. He went to Edmonton in 2005-06 to and the Oilers went to the Stanley Cup Final. The next year he went to Anaheim and led that team to a Stanley Cup Championship alongside Scott Niedermayer. Two years later he went to Philadelphia and immediately helped lead the Flyers to the Stanley Cup Final. He's a mountain of a man who could score, play the most physical game in the league and log massive minutes every night. Paul Coffey put up numbers as a defender that really only Bobby Orr could match. Coffey also had the luxury of playing behind two of the greatest forwards of all time throughout his prime years in the league, but don't mistake that him just being a passenger riding shotgun along some hockey legends. His arrival in Pittsburgh to join Lemieux is one of the biggest turning points in the franchise's history that gave number 66 his first ever superstar teammate to help put the organization at a championship level. The captain of the 1980s New York Islanders dynasty, Dennis Potvin, was an offensive force, topping the 20 goal mark 9 different times in his career, including 3 30 goal seasons. He also scored at least 17 goals 3 other times, including a 19 goal season in only 77 games. Potvin is one of the most dominant offensive blue liners ever. Say whatever you want about plus minus as an evaluating tool for players, but when you are a plus 120 like Larry Robinson was during the 1976-77 season and a plus 722 for your career, there's a good chance that you were a truly dominant player and an all-time great. Robinson won six Stanley Cups with the Canadians, including four in a row as part of their 1970s dynasty. He was the foundation of the Detroit Red Wings organization for two decades and a four-time Stanley Cup champion, a seven-time Norris Trophy winner, and a Conn Smythe winner as playoff MVP. His all-around play is what every young defender who enters the league strives to be but will never be able to duplicate. His retirement marked the end of the Red Wings' run of dominance in the NHL and they have never been able to come close to replacing what he provided. Ray Bork was a nearly unmatched combination of offensive dominance, shutdown defense, and incredible longevity. He scored at least 10 goals in 20 of his 21 seasons in the NHL and won 7 Norris trophies. The only bad thing Boston fans can say about his career is that he never had a chance to lift the Stanley Cup as a member of the Bruins. He finally earned that chance as a member of the Colorado Avalanche after accepting a trade at the age of 39, two decades into his career. Before Bobby Orr took over as the NHL's dominant defender, Doug Harvey was the player at the top of the league's hierarchy among blue liners. The Hall of Famer won seven Norris trophies on the Canadiens' blue line and was the focal point of six Stanley Cup winning teams in Montreal, including five in a row from 1955 through 1960. His skating and passing ability were ahead of his time for his era and made him one of the best and most dangerous players in the league. There is no way a list of the top defensemen of all time can have anybody other than Bobby Orr in the top spot. No player changed the way hockey's played more than Orr did, no defender dominated the game the way Orr did, and there is a strong argument to be made that he might even be the best player of all time because of those previous two statements. He finished as the league's leading scorer as a defender two different times, he topped the 100 point mark in 6 consecutive seasons and won the Norris Trophy in 8 consecutive seasons. Nobody won it more than him and no defender has more 100 point seasons. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.